Hey there, folks, and welcome to DX Plays The Faces of Hope Underground. Uh, this game was gifted to me on Steam by the Time Traveling Diamond, so a very, very big thank you to her for this. Um, right off the bat, you can notice something in this game, this uh, menu. This game was made with Game Guru, and as it turns out, uh, last month we played a game called Kimulator, which was probably one of the worst pieces of shit I've ever seen, and that was uh, also that was also made on um, on Game Guru. So let's uh, let's start. Let's see what this is all about. Loading. Kimulator was uh, very horrible, very very horrible. Um, and is very loud as well. Uh, ear splitting volume for the shotgun. That horrible pre rendered video. Hopefully, this is a little better. You know, hopefully, this isn't one of the worst things I've ever played. <sighs> but after, you know, like Mind Dead and Grizzly Valley, who knows? Press F to turn on flashlight. Alright. Well, it's running at uh, 46 frames per second, so that's that's good, I guess, right? Um, I seem to have fallen there. Uh, okay, not telling me where to go, what to do. I guess that's the exploration aspect of this, except, except the uh, field of view is absolutely terrible, and uh, I can't even get back up here, can I? No, I can't. So I guess that this is disleveled because I was able to do this before. I can't get back up. Oh, there we go. I press shift. Shift sprint. Another great uh, mechanic that has not been overused in uh, modern video games. I can't see sh What? No. No way. W what is happening? I can see the... Wh what? It's a fucking skybox over there. Wow. Talk about incompetent. Holy shit. I can't make it back over here because the... Wow. Wow. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. That's really something. And I can't fucking see a thing. I hate this shit. I hate it when a game is so dark that you can't see anything. You guys will see it lighter because of YouTube's terrible uh, color profiles. But I won't. And I'm in-game and I can't see it any fucking lighter. Where am I supposed to be going? What is this? Is this a building? This is the most incompetent piece of shit I've played in years. This is, it's not even a game. What's, what is this? What? How do I get inside? I can't go back over there because the entrance is sealed from the other side. Wow, man. Really? You can't even be bothered to make the game fucking work? Wow. And they're charging money for this? This is a... This, I, I'm speechless. There's no words. I, I don't know how to describe this. It's absolutely horrendous. Who makes these games? Wow. Uh, yeah, we need some quality control on Steam. This is ridiculous. This game is fucking broken. I mean, just look at it. It's a it's a map in the middle of nowhere. I can't see anything. That's infuriating. Condemned had a fucking better flashlight. That was a horror game. Christ Almighty. And so there's a desk here. That's where we got the key. Where are we supposed to be going? Obviously not over here. This is the only entrance out.
But after that, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. By the way, is there time of day? No, there isn't. I can't do anything but stare at the ground. There's no entrance over here, I think. I already looked over. I guess this is... This isn't an entrance. What the... I just jumped over that. There we go. I did it again. Is this how we're supposed to be getting into the... This can't be real. This has to be... What? What? Oh my god. <sighs> That's a glitch! It's a bug! How can you dictate game progress with something broken? This is basic game design! Fuck! The door is locked? I had a fucking key. Fuck off. Press E to open door. No sound effects for the door. Wow. That's... Oh, wow. It's like... I can't believe this exists. Uh, we got a flashlight, which illuminates a lot more in this level than it did in the previous one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You know, I was playing Duke Nukem Forever a couple days ago. I don't know if I'll make a video about it. Probably. I don't know if you guys will see it soon, though. But I was playing Duke Nukem Forever. And I'm currently at the part where Duke is uh, riding around in his monster truck. And I thought to myself, wow, this is really bad. This is, uh, this is pretty shit. Uh, the car handling is terrible. Exploration is shit. Maybe that game isn't that bad. Compared to something like this. I, I just... Wow. You, and that's a bad game. Duke Nukem Forever is a bad game. I have some interesting things to say about it because I don't feel I don't feel like it's a total 100% failure. But it's still a bad game and this is worse. This is so wor this is incomprehensible. Fuck. Why is this on Steam? I mean, Grizzly Valley, maybe I can understand. Maybe. That's just a bad game. It's not broken. Mind Dead? No. That game shouldn't be on Steam either. Cumulator? Cumulator should not be on Steam. This should not be on Steam either. It's fucking outrageous. Wow, look at that. It It's clip... It, it, it's... What the fuck? What are we even supposed to be getting here? Why is this? Oh, it's a crowbar. We can pick this up, right? Right? No. I, it's gotta be. Uh, graphic settings. There's not even a controls menu. Sound levels, graphic settings. Fuck off. Just fuck off. I, just, I don't understand. I'm pressing E to pick it up. <laughs> I don't know if I can. What is this game? No way. Oh, man. Well, I tried getting a weapon. I can't say I didn't try. I, I tried. By the way, there's a key I needed. Let's see if this is the key I needed. This is just... Like, next level horrendous. Now, I need another key. Thanks for uh, differentiating. So I guess one of them is going to be a futuristic key, as opposed to an industrial key, like the one we saw before. Cunts. Jeez. It's fucking... Like, and I don't want to insult anyone, because, you know, every, these people are free to make bad games. But it's just like, how, how do you sell something like this? How do you put this up for sale? Oh, here's something else. Another locked door. What is this? Resident Evil? Fucking Silent Hill? Oh, the door is locked. 
Maybe next time it'll say the uh, the knob is broken. This is outrageous. It's terrible. Like I I sincerely don't want to insult anyone. But how do you how do you make something like this? How do you make something like this and then put it up for sale? I just don't understand. I'd be ashamed if my name was on this. I wouldn't put my name on this. It'd be like, I don't know, fucking Nuke Dukem or something like that. We're just back where we started. Now, I, I'm going to go back to that area I uh, I went to before. Maybe, maybe I wasn't supposed to grab the crowbar. Maybe there's another key there or something. You can move all this shit. It's interesting, but ah, oh, fuck me. I still can't grab this. I don't think that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I can't do this. It's like, what is the purpose of this fucking room? Press E to pick up key. Are you shitting me? I couldn't even see that. Jesus. See, it's a future. It's a futuristic door. It's a computer chip. By the way, let's just let's go over how stupid that whole that whole uh thing was. So I have to go into the cavern to get a key that opens a door to a room that has another key to open another door. Oh man, it's not even this fucking door. It's got to be the other one. <laughs> Oh, man. When we played Mind Dead, I talked about people not understanding what they really like about games. This is a prime example. I don't think these people understood fuck all about the games they liked that inspired them to make this one. Wow. Wow. It's amazing. It's just something, something else. You can't make this shit up. I love how I've got the flashlight on and it doesn't illuminate shit. All right, now we're back. Okay, you know what this looks like right off the bat? It looks like a game from 2005 with its ugly mode on where they has no effects. This, there are games from 2005 that look better than this. Holy shit. Oh, oh, big sound effect now. Big sound effect now with this door. It almost split my eardrums. Do you want to improve performance? No, fuck off. It's a maze? What? I can t What is this? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I, I can't believe this game exists. Somebody made this. Somebody made this game. And I'm trapped here. Because this isn't the way to go. Uh... Okay. You can't jump high enough to uh, see the other places. That's, so that's good. You know, that's progress, I guess. Um, all right. It's, it's, it's a dead end. It's a dead end. Wow. I, I am blown away. I, I guess that's the, that's the right word. Pick up the typhoon. All right, I'm gonna fire this. I gotta put the volume down. I'm sure it's gonna be loud. No, it isn't at all. Oh, look at that advanced feature. Aim down sights. You can't move the. Fu this is okay. I'm I'm moving right. Wow. Look, I'm trying to. I can, you can barely move the. And if you're what? Look at this. I'm like pressing the mouse all the way to the right. I can't even. This has to be a joke. This has to be a joke. This can't be a real game that's on Steam. This is just so bad. Fuck. Alright, let's go. This is probably just going to be another waiting area or something. Oh, no. Yeah, that doesn't... Neither of those open. Why are they there if they don't open? They were, There wasn't even a prompt. Oh! Oh! Why, why is the robot bleeding? Oh, he's dead now. I've got no ammo. Is there melee? Can I switch to anything? No, he's not even firing at me, so why bother? 
Oh, collected health. I think that's ammo over here. No, that's just more health. Uh, collected health. No ammo. Uh, I've collected health. But no ammo. Alright, I'm running, I guess. I mean, there's nothing else to do, right? Oh, jeez, man. I just, I can't under, I don't understand this. This, this would, this would be a, a horrendous game in... Look at that. You can see the seams. The seams are breaking off the fucking meshes. Look at this. This would have been a bad game in 2001. Uh, this would have been dog shit in 2001. And I'm not saying games from 2001 are bad. I'm just saying they were more primitive than they are now. And this level of design would have been bad in 2001. It would have been bad in, in 1996 when Quake came out. It's just... It's just there we go, we got some ammo. That's a nice little reloading animation. Oh, generator starting. Oh, there we go. We uh, started something, we did something. Alright, let's go back. I guess those other doors weren't working because the power was off. Except it didn't tell us the power was off, so we just had to kind of assume things we didn't know. And this is dead end. Why would you put a dead end here? It's, uh, look at that recoil. He's dead. He just he just went into the wall. I guess he went to the shadow realm or something. What the fuck? I'm not playing this for much longer. I, my brain can't handle this anymore. It's, how do you how do you make games this fucking terrible? It's like I am so tempted to just put something on Steam because it's so bad. I mean, and literally anyone can make games on Steam now. Actually, this is the way I'm supposed to be going. I think. Um, it's, it's just horrendous. There we go, here's another room. There's one of these fuckers here. Oh, he's dead. He's taking a tumble. And he disappears. Wow. Oh, man. Something I like about this game is how uh, it has a subtitle uh, under under its name. You know, typically, when a game has a subtitle, that means it's it's part of a series. So, is The Faces of Hope supposed to become a series of games? Fuck you if it's supposed to become a series of games. Uh, this is garbage. This is one of the worst games I've played on Steam. I've been doing this for, what, three years now? It's absolutely horrendous. It doesn't fucking work. Why, why can I still hear the robot noises? Why is there sound effects all of a sudden? Oh, taking a tumble. Oh, there he goes. I can hear sound effects. I don't know what they're for, though. I've never seen anything this bad. I mean... This isn't a finished game, though. That's the thing. This isn't a game. Like, this isn't... This would have never made it to retail. This is just... Horrible. Now this is another maze. It's just another fucking maze. What is that noise I keep hearing? I don't know. There's no directions, there's no map that I can see. So you just gotta run around with your dick out and hope you find the right place. It's really bad. Uh, this is... Uh, I've given, I think, maybe one game a 0 out of 10 before. And that was... I can't give this a rating. Because this is not a game. This is... This is some dilapidated shit that someone shat out in the morning. This is just horrible. Oh. Oh. I, I'm trying to move the gun. And it moves so fucking slowly when you're in ADS. It's... It's terrible. There's no uh, tracer rounds coming out of the gun. Why bother? It's just muzzle flash. Why bother trying to make anything good? It's another room. Here we go. I have no ammo. Oh, here we go. Uh, 
That was what was making the noise. So there was an enemy that was halfway across the map that I could hear. Wow. Oh, nope. Nah, 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 man. I'm getting out of here. Now, where was that other one? By the way, this has uh, infinite sprint. I hate games that do this, that have infinite sprint, but you have to press down shift to run. Why not just make it auto run? It, it's just like... It, fuck. Go up? Is that a question? Why would I not go up? Press E to open door. A door that leads to another door. That couldn't have just been the loading screen? I'm not gonna play this for much longer. I might have an aneurysm, because this is so bad. I, I just... <laughs> who makes these games? Oh, who makes these games? This is absolutely terrible. One of the worst games I've ever seen, played. Um, I'm like trying to wrap my head around how bad this is. Not gonna be playing for much longer. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop playing when I'm out when I'm dead when I die. Press E to open the door. All right, I didn't do anything. There's nothing in there. Why would you do that? Why would you? These do these even open? No, there's no option to open them. So we got a sofa here. We got doors that lead to nothing. But they ask you to open them anyways. Um, this door is locked. Find a key. I, th I found a key, I believe. Here we go. We got a key. Press E to open door. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to... Please kill me. Just please tell me this is going to kill me. No, it won't. That would be a competent game feature. Oh, man. All right. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I don't think I have the will to keep playing. This is uh, very bad. Rio waste danger. All right. Um, no, doesn't kill you. <sighs> I don't know what else there is to do. I guess look for a key. I guess we could look for a key. But, I mean... Does any of this matter? Wow, look at that. Dinero, money. Oh, if I had... If I had... A hundred dollars for every time I played a shitty game from Steam, I'd probably be rich. Okay, we just went from futuristic to brick walls. Great design there. What? 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 Look at this! What the fuck? The stairs don't even work properly. This has to be a joke. This can't be real, man. Okay, next chance I'm get uh, next chance I get an enemy, I'm just gonna charge him and he's gonna kill me and I'm done playing this. This is uh, this is probably the worst uh, game I've I've played from Steam. Uh, now, now we're on the Death Star, so it wasn't enough to just change from futuristic to tile. Now we are on the set of Star Wars. Now, th there it goes again. What the fuck? Is a door? Is this the end? Did we beat the game? To be continued. Wow. This is like the ending of Wolfenstein 3D. When you go out and you get that great little yell 
and the game is over and you've gone to freedom and it's over. It's over. The nightmare is over. That's what this is to me. This is the ending of Wolfenstein 3D. I'm done. I'm done playing this. I'm never touching this fucking shit again. A big thank you goes out to Time Traveling Diamond for gifting me this game. This is horrendous. This, whew, oh my goodness, this is one of the worst games I've ever played. Uh, if you guys want to support the channel, I'll put the Patreon link in the description. Big thank you goes out to my existing Patreon supporters. I love you guys. And um, I don't know if there will ever be any other videos because I might just drop dead after uh, recording this one. So who knows? Who knows? If you guys made it to the end, thank you very much. Uh, peace out, guys. Take care.